All right, welcome back everybody to part six of my Kingdom Come Deliverance playthrough. Um, we are picking up after having saved um, Hans Capon from some cumins when we went to go for a hunting trip. Um, so we kind of got a little bit of, of a promotion because we're now serving Sir Radzik directly. Um, and we're getting sent uh, with Captain Bernard and some guards over to investigate some murders that happened over at Neuhof. Um, I don't quite exactly remember how they described it, but you know, we'll, we'll know more as the story goes. Um, now, one of the reasons I am starting this video off in the menu, even though I think I've done all the videos like that, is as soon as we get into the game, I'm gonna have to book it to the right. Um, to try and sell the stuff we have before um, they leave us to go, you know, do the investigating. I mean, it's not really going to put us in a fail state or anything like that, but I want to make sure we maximize our, um, what you call it, our money stuff. So he's giving him a briefing, but... You know, we already know some of that. It's, it just sucks because we are walking so slow, but thankfully all of them are naturally slow walkers as well. Well, I say naturally because that's just, you know, that's NPCs for you. Anyway, come on, Mr. Blacksmith guy. You were the closest merchant we have. So, first things first, we're going to sell off all the meat that we have, because we're surely not going to need all that. Um, that, that, that. Silver goblet, yes. Uh, shard, no, that's our, that's the sword we're using right now. These two, stats wise, they're pretty close. Actually, yeah, they're both very close. Um, but this one pretty much has no noise. Um, although this one's got better charisma. So, you know what? We're gonna get rid of that one. Uh, mail collar. Because the noble one's got better charisma as well. Um, Okay, we can trade that in because we're going to get this one repaired and use that. Leather gloves, we can do two of. And we're getting close to actually maximizing how much money. I'd like to discuss the price. Naturally. Yeah. You know, we're getting to that point where we're making so much money. It actually makes sense to get our reputation up with the traders. On. I'm gonna need him to repair some stuff. Uh, I think I'm happy with that for now. Oh, there you go. I'm gonna haggle a little bit. I'd like to just... Well... So the trick here... Finally! Yeah, the trick is to sell with a little bit of tip and then try to haggle um, when we're dealing with services. So I feel like that's usually a better return than anything else we could do. Um, that's pretty much it really for now. So we're going to give Let's him... Have a word of well, we're gonna give him just a tiny yeah. bit. And can't spread well. Overload. What the fuck is causing me to be overloaded still? Oh, bludgeon. We're gonna sell the broken arrow because we definitely don't need that. Maybe some of the cumin clothes?
You know what? I'll just deal with it. We're already walking a little bit faster. Um... I don't know why you were so over overburdened. You know what? We're gonna drop the spade. Actually, no, we can't. We can't level that up yet. So the horse actually carries items, or can carry items. So we're gonna take advantage of that. Okay. They haven't started going yet. Hi. Can we go? Are you ready? I'm ready, Captain. Damn it. Objective failed. Good. Then follow me. Keep quiet and do exactly as you're told. I don't know what Sir Radzik sees in you, and I don't care. If you're to ride with my men, I expect you to listen. Yes, sir. Against all better judgment, they've decided to give you your own horse. The dappled gray beside my stallion is yours. Make sure you take good care of him. Now, mount up and ride behind us. Stop for a bit. I'll just give you a quick search. Be quick about it. What? For security reasons. Sure. Ugh, come on then. All's well. He said dappled gray, right? Pebbles! Our horse's name is Pebbles. Nice. I don't know why he decided to search me. It's like, what a dick. Um, so now we can move Damn, stuff. They really didn't wait for me. Now I've got to get to Neuhof by myself. I hope Bernard won't be too angry. What are you talking about? They're right there. Ah, <sighs> so it's like that thing with games where we barely missed whatever it is that they wanted us to do. Oh, we have two of the helmets. Okay. So we can equip that. Should be good for now. Follow the Minty Neuhoff. So it's like we're half and half because it supposedly failed us, but we were there fast enough to capture, I mean not to capture, to catch Captain Bernard before he actually went anywhere. So now we get to ride with them. Pebbles, show us the meaning of haste. Captain Bernard, Captain Bernard, sir. Okay, so I guess we're not we're not talking. Look at this though. Look at how pretty this is. Man, I'm really glad I'm actually playing this now for recording because it's forcing me to actually play on my PC. Yeah. Discovered an accident. Where? Oh, look, there's a cart back there. But we don't care. We're on a mission. Alright, we're actually going a little too fast. This is a beautiful game, though. Yeah! It's like, it makes me really appreciate the fact that they went for realism as opposed to, you know, magic and stuff like that. Because I feel like, in a way, it would have ruined it because the next thing you know would be attacked by goblins, there'd be a wizard's tower up somewhere. It's like, you know, all, it's like all the weird, like, high fantasy stuff, you know. I never noticed the crows there. That's, that's a crazy crazy effect. You discovered fast travel point. Good. Good. A 
lot of horses. Yeah. How much money do we have? One thousand groschen. Yay. We follow the men to Neuhof. your master in in the paddock oh shit <sighs> crucifix what kind of beasts could do this by the blood of the martyrs Bunch of dead horses. What happened here? Why? Someone came at night and hamstrung every one of them. The horses screaming must have woke poor Radek, the stable boy. And when he tried to stop them. And then my husband, when my husband tried to help them. They killed him too. And when they were done, they put a torch to the stables. My sincere condolences, ma'am. I swear we'll hunt those monsters down and make them pay for this. The horses were still alive when I came. We had to finish them off. All of them. The pain in their eyes. They couldn't understand how anyone could do this to them. Did they steal anything? Any horses? <laughs> Nothing. They wanted blood, not coin. Did your husband quarrel lately? Was there anyone who might want revenge? He argued over the price of a saddle, maybe, but nothing... Nothing that could drive a man to... These are dark days when there's more kindness in horses than in men. Did you see anything? How many were there? Or what did they look like? We saw no one. Has anyone tried to follow their trail? No. We were fighting the blaze until now, and even if we weren't, what chance would any of us have against someone who could do this? Poor woman. A pox on it. Mount up and quarter the area. We have to find out where they went. Look for tracks and ask the folk if they saw anyone. Fuck! Someone must have at least caught sight of him. Yes, yes sir. sir. What about me, Captain? What the hell use are you? You stay here. Please, let me do something. I could have a look around the area and see if they left any tracks. Well, if you must. Just don't get in anyone's way, don't go too far, and come back here when you're done. All right, then. Detective Henry. God above, who could do such a terrible thing? My lady. Smell, the stud farm owner. I saw him in Scarlet's a few times. His poor widow. Ask. I. I can come back later if you. No, I saw you came with the soldiers, and the sooner you know everything, the sooner you'll catch those savages. I'm sorry to trouble you, ma'am, but could you tell me about the raid? The noise woke us up. Me and Smill. We thought the horses were restless, or maybe some drunk had staggered here from the inn. Do you get drunks coming here a lot? Sometimes. But not this time. My husband went out. To see what was going on. 
Then I just heard loud voices and screaming. It's so stupid. It didn't even occur to me at first that something could have happened to Smil. I didn't find out until the morning. Hmm. Did you recognize any of the voices you heard? No, but they spoke Czech, cursing like demons, even at each other. At each other? They quarreled? Yes. Something must have happened. And where did you hear this noise? Everywhere. It was chaos. I don't even know how many of them there were. I mean at the very start. Do you remember where you heard the noise come from then? I don't know. I just don't know. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's an Did you get a look at them? There's one man, huge, and dressed all in black. Did you see him? No, I didn't. Who should I question about the raid? Did anyone here see anything? Jakob, the old stable boy. He even fought with them. From what I've heard, Mark was the first one to wake. It might be a good idea to talk to him. Jindu was sleeping in the stable. He might have seen something. I don't know of anyone else. Mm, okay. God bless. We'll talk to the stable boy. Stable boy? You there! Shakub! Another useless soldier coming to ask questions. You should have fucking been here last night. I'm not a soldier. I'm one of the survivors from Skalitz. Huh. I see, lad. Well then, what do you need to know? What in the world happened here? The bastards attacked us. At night, a little before dawn. And how did you come by that wound? I heard someone talking, so I went to look outside. Then I saw what they'd done to the horses. I shouted at those bastards. Caught one by the cloak and started beating him. Without a weapon? With just your fists? Yeah. But he cut me pretty good, the fucker. Lucky for me, the other started to come out then, so the raiders ran. All that's left is his cloak. And you've got no idea why they did it? Something must have gone wrong for them. They ran off without taking anything. Interesting. There's one man in particular. Huge. Dressed all in black. Voice loud enough to crack stone. Did you see him? Who the fuck do you think half killed me? So he really was here. The bastard. We're just gonna assume anybody like that big, wearing all black. Well, I guess, you know, that's a little bit more important back then. Because, like, how many people would really afford those kinds of clothes? Can you help me? How? You know the area. How can I figure out which way they went? Hmm. They left in a hurry. You could see if there's a fence knocked down. Oh, Gates. Aha, smart lad. I'll be with you. Okay. What are you loitering here for? You have a job. Yes, we do have a job to do. I'm going to follow the tracks. How could anyone be so cruel? It's a funny looking helmet, guy. Very funny looking. Poor wretch. He must have crawled here. If it was the horses they were after, there'll be even more of them by the main stables. Okay, I'm gonna follow the trail of blood. Sup, goes. Stables. Oh. What? Who's there? 
Easy. Well, aren't you suspicious? I just came to ask. I don't know anything. Definitely suspicious. Are you hurt? No, no, nothing. Not a scratch. What really happened here? I don't know. Someone attacked. I, I don't know who. You're very suspicious. You didn't happen to hear where they came from? No! I didn't see a thing. Okay, okay, shifty bastard. Okay, so some of the, ho the horses are still alive. Well, that one's dead. Okay. Let's question some of the other dudes. You there, Mark. <laughs> That's terrible crying. Are you... Are you well? Leave me alone. Go away. Look, I know that it's difficult. But when I say talk, I don't expect to be ignored. No more, no more. May the Lord watch over you. <clears throat> Come on, Henry. Oh, our shit's all dirty and stuff. Does somebody have a thing of water? Okay. Damn, Charisma jumped like two points just for now. But actually, um, that's probably not doing me any favors because it's all torn up. Okay, so somehow removing the lightly padded armor and just being like that gave us better charisma. It's a little weird to just not have a shirt on, except for our little tunic thing. So, let's see if that does anything. Nope. Still shit. Okay. Okay, like what up with the what up with the penalty <laughs> okay uh, so now he won't even talk to me great watchman anybody else that's named such senseless brutality they slaughtered horses as well as people and yet it seems they didn't take anything well, we can just follow the tracks, Henry, for now. Oh, there's the broken fence the dude was ah, talking about. This wasn't done by animals. They must have gone into the woods this way. Alright. I'm not going in there unarmed. Wounding arrow. Nice. 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 Find out where the raiders went. We're gonna follow the trail. Aha! Uh -huh. Blood. They went deeper and deeper, for sure. Game save. Nice. Explore the clearing in the woods. Music change. I can hear people. Don't talk that way. 
We'll get back to the camp and I'll take care of you there. No, my friend. I'm not long for this world. Go, before someone finds us here. Don't worry about me. You know I can't leave you here. If they find you... I know. Oof. I won't... Okay, really? Oh! Are my stats too low for it? Damn it. My stats are too low for the bow. <laughs> he killed his own friend. And now we kill him! Die, bandit! Bandito! Oh dear, did that hurt? I'm gonna try to use the lessons we learned. Oh shit. Over here! Oh shit. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Is that all you've got? Yeah. Are you going to cry? Actually, hold on. Did we actually No, I need to check my combos. That's a little complicated. Short sword, short sword. There we go. I could have sworn we learned I learned this one. That's why I kept trying to do it, but now we can actually do it. And then that one I said we we're gonna Jesus Christ! You're weak now. Haha. Uh, 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 I've defeated you, bandit. And now we shall loot you. Wow, the gloves sell for that much. He's got a lot of like expensive shit. Plate coutures. It's gonna be a question now of like um Bloody Hoof Pick. That's a quest item, that. Why, it's a hoof pit. Someone in Neuhof must know more about it. We might need the bread. Cheap wine, we don't want. So we're only gonna take stuff that's actually worth selling. Oh, and money, of course. That looks like a dress. Should be good enough. How does his sword compare to our sword? That is a stolen item somehow. I don't quite understand. We we'll just have to make sure we sell it to um, the miller before anything else. But for now, we are going to move that to the horse. So we don't get in trouble. And that one we can eat. Let's see. Oh, never did check the weapons. 43, 43, 2. 45, 43, 2. That's better. Um, 
It's a short sword though. Not that crazy about short swords. Actually, this is a short sword too. What the fuck? I thought I had a long sword. Well, we've actually got a little bit of money now, so... I can... Um, might be able to buy a better sword. Because I was kind of counting on... Just kind of counting on having a longsword, which is why I invested all my skills into that, you know, to longsword attacks. Can I talk to you now? Charisma 7. You know whose hoof pick this is? Ginger's. He was always bragging about it. Why do you ask? I found it on one of the bandits in the woods. But he... Because of him? Because of him they murdered us? Lord in heaven! Wait, hold on. You think Ginger was responsible for the attack? He ran off! Don't you see? He was acting so strange and then he ran off! Why the hell would he do that? That does sound rather odd. And you don't know where Ginger could have gone? Dunno. Ask Jakob. May the Lord watch over you. Jakob. Okay. Let's go ask Jakob. It's such a pretty farm too, if not for all the death. Like it's a like this whole pond area is very nice. Very sad. Do you know anything about this hoof pick? Yeah, it's Ginger's. He had it made in Mate. Any idea where I might find this Ginger? Well, that's the thing. He packed up and left. What? Look, I, I know how he looks. But Ginger is a fine fellow. I, I don't believe he had anything to do with the attack. But then he ran. Where could he have fled to? I, I might know. But you gotta promise me one thing. When you find him, listen to what he has to say before judging. Mm. You have yeah. my word. That's easy enough. Sometimes the charcoal burners come to see him. He gets on well with them. I think that's where he's gone. And where is that? No idea. They've always kept to themselves, you know, charcoal burners. But the forest is full of folk like that. They could be anywhere. Aye, except these ones won't be far. If you follow the stream from the stud farm towards Rate, You'll come across one of their camps. Only... Only what? Ginger didn't go that way, though. He always went by the big road, through the woods in the direction of Ujits. But how can I find them? There's always smoke when they work. <laughs> You'll smell them before you see them. But, and they need to be near water. There's that too. So if I go through the woods along running water, I'll find them? Exactly. Take care now. Okay then, let's tell Captain Bernard what we found. Jesus Christ be praised. Quest started, Ginger in a pickle. I think Ginger is mixed up in it somehow. Hmm. Why do you say that? He acted suspiciously when I questioned him. What do you mean? Well, he was squirming and didn't really say anything. He might just have been in shock. The hoof pick I found on the dead bandit in the woods is his. That is fucking suspicious. <laughs> You'd say it, brother. He disappeared right after we found those bandits in the woods. And I think I know where he went. Where? To the charcoal burners. He has friends there. We've got to find him. But if his friends really are hiding him, I doubt they'll talk to my men. 
You should search for him, Henry. Go. Before the trail turns cold, I'll send a report to Ratai. Very well, sir. I'll be with you. All right. We're in the Trail of Ginger. I kind of want to go back to Rat, um, to Ratai real quick, so we can um, make sure our shit is fixed. And you know what? We're gonna we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. You know what? We're in the middle of a quest. We shall behave like proper RPG dudes and do our quest. Although, um, in the interest of not wasting too much time, uh, yeah. I'm actually going to go ahead and go to where I know the thing is. like. To where I know the quest is supposed to be. So we don't, you know. So we don't waste each other's time. Such a nice day though. What time is it anyway? Uh it's about four in the afternoon. Yeah. Hope we figure this out before it's too dark. Not entirely sure where the road is to this place, but I'm following the quest marker. That's important too, right? You've reached a new level in horsemanship. Yeah. Checking to see if there was any, you know, anything to get from that money, maybe. You discovered a camp. The spokesman. I'll be with you. I'm looking for Ginger from Neuhof. Do you know anything about him? I know him. What do you want of him? There's a few questions I need to ask him. Well, you'll have to go somewhere else to find him. He doesn't come here much. Let's see. So where does he usually go if not here? You think we're the only charcoal burners in these woods? Probably not. But this is a big forest and I don't have time to look under every stone in it. And you don't need to look under every stone. All you have to do is follow the river and you might just run into another camp. Let's make sure they're not doing anything, plus I want to level up our, you know, our speech crap. If you're hiding in here, please reconsider. It's Sir Radzig who sent me to find him. That boy's testimony could help stop more bloodshed. I understand the urgency, lad, but really, he doesn't come here. He's friends with some of the boys over by Townburg. And where can I find them? Head west along the river and you run into them. Oh, and another thing you might like to know. Other people have been sniffing around here for him. Nasty fellas. Where did they go? What did they look like? Oh, well, they headed off to the west. But that doesn't mean anything. And they look... Well, one of them came here and asked a lot of questions. And the other one stood off at a distance, scowling. Dressed like murderers, the pair of them. Good luck to you. How do murderers dress like? Especially in this day and age. Okay, so we need to go west. Yeah. Come on, pebbles. Ride. Pebbles is a noble steed. Looks a uh, quest marker leans a little bit more towards right, and yeah. so we shall go. Right on.
I hope I'm following the right marker. Oh no, it says Vizhit the scribe from Ujit. It's the wrong marker all along. Good thing I decided to check. God damn it, game. Why would you lead me astray like that? Huh. Wait. Is this where we were camping? Oh, this works out actually. Because it is... Oh, this works out perfectly. Get the better hunting arrow. Do we have any food? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and sleep. I'll sleep till morning? Find the charcoal burners. This is actually convenient. Like, good thing I took that, you know, that bad detour. Let's see. And that also lets us save as well. And I can eat. Let's get a little bit more light. the meaning of haste. God. Oh, guards. I wonder if they ever figured out that one of them was moited. Even if it was an accident. Total accident. Freak accident even. Yeah. I should have crossed over so I could use the road, but I think we're here anyway. It doesn't really matter. Yeah! That was just a mighty steed. Charcoal burner. Bran. Wait, he's named. God be with you. I'm looking for a stable boy from the stud farm. I've heard he's hiding with some charcoal burners. Don't know anything about that. No one ever comes here, what with the smoke and all. I see, but... I... They say it makes their clothes reek. Don't know why they're complaining. The resin will stiffen the cloth and make it strong. Farewell. Hey, interesting. Come here. I know something. You know something, do you? All right. Do you guys have water for which... I can clean myself up real quick. What's my stamina? Alright, charisma. We're still at a 7. Okay. That's probably about the best we'll get for now. Alright. You there. What do you know? God be with you. You know something about Ginger? I might have heard something. And if you share a bit of silver with me, I might share what I know. Bribery, eh? I'm investigating a crime, not bartering for a chicken. Well then, I'm sure you've got some silver on you. Just give it to me, and it'll be a done deal. And what if I bashed your face in and had you dragged off to the stocks in Rat Eye? No need for that. <laughs> it was a bit of silver, and instead I get the whip. Spit it out, will you? Well, fine. I've heard that they're hiding him in some remote cottage. At the edge of the forest on the way to Ujits. That didn't hurt too much now, did it? Take care now. Aha! Wonder what that did to our reputation, though. Does that count for Neuhof or Rate? Or Talmberg? Well, what are you gonna do, right? Although, to be fair, 
Okay, hiding him in some cottage. Small holding in the north northern edge of the woods towards Ushits. So that's going to be somewhere around here. Okay, I was going to say, is there an X there, or? That's really how it is. Maybe that? No, I think that's the... No, based on how that is, that's where we camped before with, you know, Hans Cape Han. That's the Cumin camp, maybe? Also, I'm looking at this one. Okay. It's like, I kind of remember somewhat, like, where I'm supposed to go. Yeah! But not super duper well. Wait. Let's talk to the other dudes real quick, just in case they can give me a little bit more info. Or will. That guy we can't talk to. Over this other guy. Okay, so we can't talk to them anymore. I'm guessing that the only information we're gonna get is from that other dude. Okay. I've dealt with worse. Hopefully, I can kind of remember which way it goes. Because I don't really have the time to get super fucking lost in this game right now. Said towards Ushits. That's kind of where Ushits is. Okay, what's B? Okay. Yeah. I don't know which way this goes. Forward. It's this way. That's interesting, actually, because I think um, if you talk to one of the dudes and convince them to tell you where Ginger is, they actually give you better directions. With this guy, it's just oh, it's a small holding. So I think it's actually a punishment for threatening the dude instead of, you know, trying to do this, like, I guess peacefully, whatever, whatever you want to call it, like without threats. Jesus, you've led me a merry dance. What do you want from me? I want to ask you a couple of questions. Why did you run off like that? Where are your cronies? And why did you kill that bandit? What? Right, one thing at a time. Where did Why you, did you run off in such a hurry? Because I was afraid they'd come back and kill me. Who? Those, those bandits, of course. To get revenge on you for killing their mate. Killing? Me? I, I never killed anyone. God is my witness. You are so suspicious. I'm looking for your friends. Where are they? The charcoal burners? They're over at the... To hell with the charcoal burners. Where are your bandit mates? They're not my mates. They they nearly killed me. I recognized one of them, so I thought they'd come back and... Recognized? Who was it? Talk! I d don't know his n name, only that he's from Ushets and he has a limp. What can you tell me about him? How do you know him? I saw him a few times in the tavern in Ushets, playing dice and boozing. And... I know he lives in a house on the edge of the village, but that's all I know. I never talked to him. Mm, why did you, why kill, did that you kill that bandit? What? Bandit? I never killed anyone. This is yours, isn't it? I pulled it from the belly of a dead bandit near the stud farm. That is mine, but I didn't stab him. That fellow took it from me. What fellow? I don't know his name, but he's from Ujits, and he has a limp. He limps, and he's from Ujits. 
That's not much to go on, but I suppose it'll have to do. It's all I know. I never talked to him. Okay. And now tell me exactly what happened. And don't leave anything out. That's quite a long story. Mm. Don't worry, I won't get bored. All right. I woke up in the middle of the night because I needed to go for a piss. So I went out into the dark, same as usual, only... Only there was something there that shouldn't have been. At first I thought it was just a trick of the light. But it wasn't. And then it was too late. They went past, and I thought they must be horse thieves. I would have yelled, only I was afraid they'd kill me. So I waited until they were out of sight, and I started to sneak away. But then... Then the slaughtering started. Yes. I thought they'd steal the horses and ride off. That would be bad enough. But then all the killing started and flames everywhere. That oh, was terrible. Like hell itself. And then? It, it seemed some of them didn't like it either. They started squabbling among themselves. And some of them started running back where they came from. Right towards me. And I had that thing in my hand. The hoof pick. So you stabbed the first one in the belly? No. No. He ran right into me. He was running fast for a fellow with a limp. He pushed me aside and I fell on the ground. Then he told me I'd better lie low if I valued my life. He ran off with the others. I did what he said and hid. Then the rest of the gang ran past. And then? And then I waited in case that limping one from Ujits came back. I didn't dare come out until I was sure. I think it was almost light. What about the others? Was there anything you noticed about them? Uh, I don't know. Th there might have been maybe eight of them. And two of them were really big. That's all I can remember. Do you know what they argued about? I didn't hear everything, but I reckon some of them were only there to steal and wanted no part in the killing. That sounds terrible. I know exactly how you feel. If only I yell. Maybe they... <laughs> if you had, you'd most likely be dead. It probably wouldn't have done any good anyway. But still... There was nothing you could do. Let's see. That's all. Okay. I've heard everything I need to hear, so I'll leave you be. Wait! What about me? Won't you help me out? Uh, perhaps I could. What would you like? I'd like to go back to the stud farm, but those cutthroats who want to kill me are still around. Will you help me? I suppose I could. Do you know where I can find them? I don't, but they must be lurking about somewhere. Well, I'll have a look. But if I find them, then... I understand. That's helpful. Not. Okay, so that's a pretty big area to go looking for bandits. But you know what? We're gonna do it. We're gonna fight bandits. Because we are guards and that is what gods do. When they're not corrupted or bribed or old and retiring. Yeah. I was gonna say like So the horse doesn't throw us off. Okay. Up to it, horsey. Don't get stuck. They'd stick to the roads. Where are we at now? 
Okay. Yeah. Let's head more towards the middle. Like, let's go to that bit of road over there. Yeah. So, let's head east. Man, I wish I had better agility. I could really use a bow right now. Yeah. I feel really dumb for selling that bow. Where are we? Okay, so we reached back into by the water. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. the forest yeah or at the middle of this section of the forest hey who's there hey what's, go what's up guys hey suspicious man at arms yep you are you guys I'm looking man. for may I ask you a question ask first then I'll ask you something really good then we're looking for ginger a stable boy at a nearby stud farm have you seen him anywhere I was just about to ask you two the same thing. I'm looking for him too. Then it's a pity neither of us has found him yet. Thank heavens I've found you though. I imagine you two might be able to tell me something about Neuhoff. Hmm? I see. Well, we can give you a little demonstration of what happened there. Oh shit, things escalated, things escalated. <coughs> oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit. Bring it. I slay you. Stop. Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, got one. Got one, got one, got one. I hope one of you guys have a long sword. Because I definitely need one. Alright, to keep our distance, regain stamina. Is that all? This is tough. Yes, agility. It's exactly what we needed for the bow shit. <coughs> Bollocks indeed. Expect that, eh? Oh. oh shit. We're so close. What's the matter? Oh, oh no! <sighs> so close. Oh, it started us all the way back here. God damn it. Well, at least I don't have to listen to um, all that conversation again. And now I have an idea of where those bandits are, which is right about here. Set our marker there. Then we'll go. Is 
So since there's not really any um, speech checks or anything for us to gain, oh, great. Um, since there's not really much of a speech check for us to go through to like talk to those guys, maybe trick them about Ginger. I'm considering going to attack them from the horse. Just kind of ride in there with pebbles and go swinging. What's going on there? What was that? Attack! Gone weak at the knees, have you? Oh. Oh! Surprise attack! It was very effective. Bring it on! We didn't raise our agility, but... We didn't raise our agility, but... Killed the bandits, which is all that matters. Now we get to steal their good stuff. Ooh, small armor's kit. Wonder if I can use that. Body shape. That's basically just a regular axe, it looks like. I like the black and white hood. Oh. We're now over encumbered. like we're playing Elder Scrolls all over again. Is that a chest? Nice. So I get to kill them and steal their shit. Good. We'll take bandages because we're probably gonna need it at some point. Oh man, dog skin. Oh, good thing I killed these fuckers. How are we on food? Seventy-five. I'm trying to remember how much that gives me exactly. Okay, so it gives me twenty-five exactly. So move that to the horse. We're gonna go back to Ginger and then go report our findings to the other guys. Can't fast travel to Ginger, can I? Damn it. Yeah. So Ginger, why'd you have to go hide in the forest? Making it all difficult. Agility. So close. So close. But we did level up strength. Uh, nope. Blocking an opponent's strike with your shield will cost 30 less stamina. I like that. Your stamina regeneration will not slow down in combat even on the weapon backsling. Ooh, yes. That's gonna save us. That is going to absolutely save us. Is that the only thing I can level up right now? Yeah. Because the most important, like one of the most important things in this game is stamina. Because, yeah. you know, once you lose your stamina, the hits you take will definitely damage you and they'll damage you big. Also, I feel like your attacks aren't as effective without the stamina, so it's good to actually have it. So you can have it regenerate yeah. while, even while we're in the middle of battle. That that is gonna be the ginger, ginger.
I bear good tidings. Already? I work They're fast, dude. Way. I run into them on my travels. Really? That's great, but... What? I'm afraid to go back to the farm. I, I ran away, and God knows what they'll think about it. I don't know if they'll even want to talk to me. I could go and ask them if it's important to you. Would you? You'll definitely have their respect, the way you took care of those cutthroats. Damn it. A lot more back and forth. A good thing we've got fast travel. And we're on PC. So it's legit fast travel. Look at Henry. He is fast traveling. Pebbles. Yeah. All right. Let's talk to the lady of the farm. Oh, I was up to. Because if I remember correctly from my previous playthrough, if we actually talk to those guys, um, it'll essentially end the quest. Good afternoon. And then Ginger will be fucked. I found Ginger. He begged me to ask if he can return. Why should I take him back? It might be his fault I had to bury my husband. What? Why else would he flee but guilt? The men said they didn't see him in bed. He didn't have a clean conscience because he gave those murderers a signal. That's not true. He fled because one of the attackers recognized him and Ginger was afraid he'd come back and kill him. Those are just excuses. He wouldn't dare come back. But they came back the very same day. If he hadn't run, they'd have killed him and everyone else. But why would they do that? Why not? They'd already murdered several people. Why not a few more? And now I'm supposed to take him back? What if they come back for him and kill one of my daughters in the process? The Good questions. Who were after him have been taken care of. And the rest have no reason to return here. And what about for revenge? I can't take him back. I understand your concerns, but you just need to ask Sahamish to leave you a guard. Those bandits might be willing to take on a few stable boys, but not an armed soldier. I'd definitely feel better if someone was here a few days to keep watch. It can be arranged. I'm sure Sir Bernard won't object. Good then. Let the lad come back again. May the Lord watch over you. Tell Ginger he can go back to the farm. <coughs> All right, Ginger. Fucking hell, I have to make this right again. Might have to cut this bit out. Pebbles? We ride. We ride for Minas Tirith. Yeah. Really good horse. We are going the right way, right? Yep. Yeah. Is that the horse? Kind of get its stamina back. And yeah. go. to go check out that inn again later. Ah! Oh 
Oh shit. Whoa. You're right, Ginger. Well, not Ginger. You're right, Pebbles. Yeah. it doesn't take super long to get here. You can return home. It was hard work to convince them, so please don't get into trouble when you go back. Thank you. I'd like to give you something, but I've got nothing except if you're ever traveling by way of Neuhof, stop by and I'll show you something with the horses. All right. We're just bona fide heroes. And now we're gonna fast travel back to Neuhof. So we can finish our quest. We still have daylight. <laughs> Captain Bernard, Captain Bernard, I'll be with you. I talked to Ginger and found out what happened. Out with it then. Ginger fled because he recognized one of the raiders. He was afraid they'd come back to silence him. Well, he was right. They were asking about him. So who did he recognize? He didn't know his name. Some fellow with a limp from Ujits. All right. If you've gone this far, you may as well ask around in Ujits. There's enough to do here in these parts anyway. Sir Radzik will tell you about it. He said to send you to him if you haven't already been. Take care now. Okay. Sir Radzik, where did we see him? We saw him here. As cool as a cucumber. The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? My Lord, I managed to find a clue to the whereabouts of the bandits. Excellent. Bernard already told me what's been happening, but I'd like to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. The whole story, or just the gist of it, sir? It's up to you what you consider important. I'll just go in brief. Well, in the end, I tracked down the stable boy who fled in fear of his life, and for good reason, too. He put me on the trail of a crofter from Ujit with a limp. And his name? The boy didn't know him by name, only by sight. But if I ask around, I'm sure folk will know who limps and keeps peculiar company. Villagers like to gossip. But what if he's not there? He could have fled, maybe even to Kuttenberg. If I don't find him in Ujit, I'll ask around. Someone will know something about him. All right. Better go to Ujit's then. Find this limping footpad and get the names of the others out of him. They have to face justice for what they did. I want to see them hang. Then bring him to me in Mehoyed and I'll decide on his fate. Certainly, sir. Alright. Why choose Mehoyed? It's somewhat at the centre of events, isn't it? And what's more, there's another stud farm there. Sir, do you think they're going to try the same thing again? I shouldn't think so. Everyone will be on the alert now. But the secluded dwellings are more vulnerable. There are few people in them. They're scattered everywhere and we can't guard them all. But the bandits won't find much silver in places like that. There's always a groschen or two, some food and so on. Anyway, how much silver did they get from slaughtering those horses? True. Fair enough. If they'd stolen them, they could have sold them. Those were fine animals. Exactly. It's not about the silver. It's about something else. But what? Creating fear. Such great terror that you won't even squeak when they come to cut your throat. Never mind, raise your hand against them. Fear that will root you to the spot, staring like a rabbit entranced by a stoat, waiting for the death blow to fall. Helpless to do anything about it. Okay. I have some news about the invest. Good. Do we? 
The trail leads to Ujit. I, I see. What else? Wait, That's what? what I found out so far. All right. Good luck to you. Sorry, I kind of skipped through that, but then it's like, how does he know about the bandit's name and shit? I guess it's just a glitch. Anywho. So, I'm actually going to go ahead and cut the video here. Um, I'll probably cut off some of the, you know. Okay. I'm probably going to cut off some of the horseback riding bits where we're just going, you know, back and forth to, like, help Ginger out and stuff. But anyway, um... Hey, you're carrying a sword. Is that regulation? Oh, yeah, okay, you're, you're watching. Oh, yeah. I'll go ahead and cut the video here. I'm probably going to fast travel to Scallets um, for the next video and do some shopping, get her stuff repaired. Uh, and yeah, all that good stuff. So that whatever we figure out in Ujits, we're going to be ready. Also, I might need to get a temporary bow, at least until I level up my agility. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh, we got a couple of, you know, little sword fights in there. And we got to do some detective work. But, yeah. Can't wait to play some more. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.